Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. I'm sorry, I was recording doing these nails and I didn't even have it recording or my... So this, I've got a few wonderful nail art supplies here and I'm gonna start with the Laguna Moon. This is their Ultra Wear Pro Gel. Thank you Laguna Moon for sending these to me. Their bottles are eight milliliters and they come in these adorable boxes. They're like their signature boxes. Their sets come in bigger ones and their individuals come like this. And as you can see, I've got another color to show you. This is a chunky glitter. So you just have to like do it. I did, this is just wiping it onto the little nail swatch thing. This I kind of did kind of a little dab it on, glitter placement with it. And I wish I would have saved that. Maybe I'll show you on a fake nail. These are so pretty. I'm going to put up their images of their colors. This is GC061 and it's got a name. It's called K-R-A-Z. So I'm not that's craze or craz. I'm not sure, but it's crazy pretty. I had to, I, I just had to touch that one, get into that one. I have two more colors and some stencils here that are brand new. I'm going to put images of what these colors look like on their website at lagunamoon.com. I do have a code and I'll put that on the screen as well as below. I have two more colors. This is just one coat I did on a swatch stick. I'm going to put these on real quick. I believe they match enough that I want to do both on the same hand so that you can really compare them. This is only one coat. GC12, which its name is Sparkle, and GC088, its name is spelled C-A-P-H, so calf, I'm not sure. Anybody know, let me know in the comments. I'm going to put both of these on this hand so you can see and compare them right side by side. And these, I'm liking them with one coat. I really do. Some people want exactly not to ever see their nails underneath. But by all means, put two coats on, but I'm only going to put one coat on because I've got artwork to put on top. Look at that. I'm going to do every other nail with this color and the other color. Oh, look at that. I was going crazy over this hand, but since I lost the footage, I can't show it to you. I'll be using it again though. Trust me, I'll be using it again. If you have any glitters, ever when you're using a one with chunkies in it, don't have them sticking over your free edges or on your skin. You don't want any gels on your skin. Anyways, look at me. I knew it as soon as I said I was going to do it. Just wipe it off. Just repeatedly having it on your skin or curing it on your skin will cause lifting. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to do these three in the chunkier one. Let me just give these a flash cure. I'm liking it with one coat. I really am because I've got some other glitter art that I want to share. And this is GC08. This is the chunkier glitter one. Originally I was, I got, I asked for this because I want to make this an accent nail. But they're all just so pretty I can't help but wear them. I believe my code saves you 17% at Laguna Moon. And if you click the link that's down below, if I put a special link down there to take you straight to the page for this color, and there's always, it's always listed under my choices. They have so graciously put all the colors that I've picked under my choices for nails of interest. So I can keep track of them and y'all can keep track of them. As I use them, they put them on there for me. And if you automatically click my choices link, it'll apply the discount code automatically, I believe, but you can double check. I believe it's 17% off. I'm doing this because I'm trying to get it in one coat. And look at there, I got it on my skin. But gel just easily wipes away. If there's any left, a little alcohol will just take that off. I'm gonna give these a five second flash cure because they're kind of clear, you can do that.
Okay, they're all cured, but they're still sticky because after you take them out of the lamp, they're still gonna be sticky because gels have an inhibition layer that stays on them. You could wipe that off, but if you top coat it, it'll be perfectly not sticky with no wipe top coat. But I wanna keep them sticky because I wanna use the new She Modern stencils. They came out, She Modern came out with at least 20 brand new stencils. I'm gonna put all the images up on the screen as I'm talking to you. This is number 17. And thank you, She Modern, for sending these to me. I appreciate it so, so much. This is diamonds. I'm thinking I'm gonna use diamonds today. Hearts, number 18. Definitely, Valentine's Day, an anniversary. I was already gonna use their heart stencil in a line version. Now I wanna show you, I'm gonna pull one out. Look at these. Just like their other stencil, you can use them to make all these lines. Look at the small and big. I wanna just get one out. I haven't gotten to play with them yet. They're reusable. You peel them off and you stick them back on. I did make a mistake on their stencil one. Acetone, don't put it on there. I ruined mine. The new ones are all hollow. And they're hollow, hollow, hollow. They're all pretty. You can make lines. I'm thinking about doing something different. So you can put them on this way, or you could put it on this way. You could put it, make all sorts of different patterns with it. I mean, you could do that. You could do like, kind of like a French manicure. You could do halves. I mean, these are so cool. I mean, you could just block out, or you could take, or you could do double block out. You can combine them to make all sorts of shapes. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. Oh, I haven't figured out what I wanna do. Same with the edges on this one. I'm gonna apply glitters or pigments. And since I'm so glittery already, it's probably not gonna show that great. But I wanna play with these. I'm not sure what I wanna do. I'm thinking about putting some glitter like right in here, like that. But you can put it on your nail or you can do it on the back of a stamper, the, the flat side. And that seems to be my preferred way. Actually, and then you may wanna dedicate one side to your glitter side. I'm thinking I'm gonna use the non-name side as my glitter side. That means glitter touches this side. And I'm gonna get out some this is their older labels, the Silver Hollow. Now they come with labels that look like, like this. The black cap means that it's hollow, but it also says hollow. The white caps are the non-hollow. They're all just so gorgeous. This is a green, hollow versus non-hollow. All have their, their merits, depending on if you wanna go hollow or not hollow. It's really hard to see. I don't even know if my camera's picking it up right. I'm gonna go silver, I think. Also have their white iridescent sparkling. That's what they used to be called. These are just glitters. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a little. If you do it on your stencil, you can, on your, on here, you can use your finger to touch it or anything you want. And it, you know how these jelly stampers are sticky and they're non-sticky. They're sticky until you put glitter on it, then they're not sticky anymore. So just tap it, pat it around, tap it on there until it's not sticky anymore. I like to turn it upside down in case there's any fallout. Wipe this off with your, your lint roller or whatever you have. Any extra, you can just take off the tape, and I lost my tape. So then you can just apply it however you want. Look, you can apply it up here. You can even make it like fade out. I'm thinking about doing it. Oh, I don't know. I might do it this way. I don't know. I want to do something crazy looking. Let's do it like this. That's what I planned on. Let's do it like that. I'm just pressing it down to let the glitter adhere. And of course, you can't see it very well because I have such a glittery polish on. But I can see it really good. Oh, you could use the dark colors or whatever you want. The sky's the limit. And on your skin, it just washes off or dusts off so easy. That's a cool look. I like that. And you can also take tape and take glitter off. Oh my God, I got glitter everywhere. I found my tape dispenser. It's broken. I dropped it on the floor. Need a new one. So that's one look. And 
while I was digging out my tape dispenser, I got a little bit messed up. There, I got it back. Just added a little loose. Sometimes you have to, since I use it on the gel, sometimes you have to take some little alcohol and just get it off. Like all this will come right off of alcohol. I just want to try that one out real quick. I'm going to have to wash that. So that's number four, I assume, because it's listed as four. I'm going to put all the stencils on the screen for you so you can see them. This one I've been dying to get. This is like, um, those that knew She Modern a year ago, year and a half ago, even two years ago, they had lines that didn't have shapes on them. They just had gorgeous lines that you could just do. I did like 4th of July flag nails, United States flag nails in them. And, oh, I love those stencils. I've been dying for them to come back with lines. I know a couple of you have been asking. And there's some line stencils I've seen. If you go to Instagram at she underscore modern, you can see some pictures of these stencils as well. But just head on over to the She Modern website and you can find these stencils. They are stuck on here really good. It's my first time peeling it off. Look at that. And you just wash these off and use them back. I'm almost tempted to use some dark blue too. I don't know. What do y'all think I should do? Let me get out. I've got the original, or original for me anyways, bottle that I had of Blue Hollow. Again, that will come in a different packaging now. So I got Blue Hollow and I got Silver Hollow. And I'm just thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if this will match because the colors. Somebody help me. Does this match? I don't know. You can use the little things like this if you wanted to. And of course, if you have any little piece of paper, you can save off the extra. Yeah, I didn't get that in there very great. I'm used to using my finger. I don't think this is gonna show up either. And you can do this straight over any tacky surface on your nail. You don't even have to have polish on there. I don't think this is going to show up. I really don't. I'm going to put this on my nail. That do not work. It's like stamping. I just removed the extra lines that I don't want. And I can see it's not going to show up for you. But I've got another idea. I'm going to go ahead and do this one with a little bit of silver. I'm not going to like cover it because I want the nail color to shine through. This way you can just see the pattern. All that hollow kind of covers it up. So it's probably better if you use the non-hollows or you don't have glitter on your nails to begin with. That would be my suggestions. Let me clean this up and try something else. Manicures can be really mismatched. But I just want to try it out. You can do, just like the other stencils, you can do lines. And you can do use these also without the, the shapes in it too. Like look, I could have a square, a round, I can do anything. All that little cool little look where you do your cuticle area in a different color. Oh, I can do that with the lines, the little dots in it. I'm gonna try it right on my nail this time. You know what? Maybe I'm not got it. I don't have it quite sticky enough. Maybe I'm putting some glue gel on. Maybe that's part of the reason, other than it's just so shiny that all the color is going away. Can't see it. I don't know how I'm gonna take a picture. Cameras are gonna go crazy. I'm gonna give this a cure. This is the glue gel from She Modern. Some gels it works with, some gels it doesn't work as great with. This is a lot stickier. The glue gel will will stick it a lot more. Whoa, sticky, sticky, sticky. I'm kind of scared to put it on my nail. It's so sticky. So let's put it on here. Try the reverse method. And you can, let's see if we can do it with a brush. I need enough to cover my nail, but I can always put more. Yeah, I'm gonna put a few diamonds on there too. 
just to go a little crazier. Turn over, get all the extra, pull, turn it over and pull it off. That way you don't have extra on your stamper head. And then just apply it. Just like you're stamping, stamping. That's cute, I like that. I could do another one the opposite way too. I might do that. I've got a little extra on here. Just lay the stencil back down. See, I didn't need an extra coat of nail polish. Pull it off. Put it on this way. About the same distance, I think, I hope. Put extra diamond on here. Kind of match it. Originally I was going to do this on clear. I might redo this on some non-glittery gel polish so that you can see. I got it all wonky, wonky, wonky. Oh well. I don't really care that it's wonky a little bit. I like that. So I got one of each nail without glitter so that you can see the color still. I think I'm going to leave it like that and just put a little, little, little blingy on it. This is what I was doing with the other hand and you can mark your bottles at the top just a little I put a little base gel with them on there suck it on there put a little top coat on top that's how I mark my bottles originally and always when using gels you need to top coat them like you do with your regular polishes Laguna Moon has this gorgeously thick polish so if you have chunky glitters it really will cover them very very well and it doesn't seep into your sidewalls nearly as much I didn't load my brush back up so let me fish out two of these little blingies help tie my look in a little bit more give this a cure and I'm going to top cut them again I just wiped them off with some alcohol and I stuck them to my countertop, sprayed them with alcohol, stuck them to my countertop and rubbed it off. And I've got most of the glitter off. I may have to give them another rinse and off. I laid it on here. I'm going to stick it and I got to figure out which one is which now because I, I don't, there's 20 new stencils. I just played with two of them. I don't know where, which one was which, which one was 17, which one was four. But see, it's kind of loose when I first put it back down. It may be because I don't have all the glitter off. If I don't get it off now, I won't get it off later. So this was, again, just to recap everything here. Laguna Moon sent me these gorgeous polishes. This is two coats. One coat with a glitter placement. One coat just swiped on the swatch stick. GC88 has the chunkier glitters in it. So it's my ring finger. GC12 is the finer glitters. That's my middle finger. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I used some She Modern glue gel. I used two of the new stencils from She Modern. I really, really like these. Really getting into them. It's going to take me a while to figure out what I want to do. I just use a stamper and some, some little random stuff. A dotting tool, or dotting tool, well, it's a dotting tool and a gem picker upper. Some top coat, and these are just a couple of different looks you could get. This is only, I only did one coat of everything. And this is only one coat of the polish with kind of a glitter placement idea. And this are two coats with the glitter placement. So, depending how you want it to look, if you want it sporadic, you could also put a lovely like sheer color underneath and then have the gorgeous, gorgeous colors on top. Looks like I'm all ready for a New Year's party here. Look at this. Like I go anywhere. Yeah. I put got a little thick here. I'll probably buff that out and retop coat it in. Not a problem. So thank you everyone for watching here today. I'm sorry I'm rambling on. I'm just excited all these new products. I've got three colors of gel polish on. Uh -huh. 
didn't great, do great on the stencils. You can't see it in real life. Maybe the picture will see it. I don't know. I can see it. I'll try this out with another gel that doesn't have glitter in it. Show you what it looks like. I'm just like staring at my nails. Thank you everyone for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. You just don't know. And I'll have all the images of the stencils repeat at the end of the video and of these gel, wonderful gel colors. Thank you everyone for being here with me today. I also have reveal shots at the end of the picture as always, I always do. Once in a while there's a surprise for you at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you everyone. Until next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.